Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide stuff in the XFCE system tray. So if you see this stuff here, there is a lot of stuff. Uh, I think it looks ugly. One of my problems with XFCE is that, or lightweight uh, systems in general, is that they have a lot of crap in the system tray that it just, it just builds up and builds up and builds up. So, XFCE is one of the few lightweight desktops that actually allows users to hide stuff. So to do that, you start off by right clicking on panel and clicking panel preferences. Now make sure you have the right panel selected if you're using the default layout like I am. Once you do that, you can go to items and then you can go to notification area. And then you need to click the edit button here now, as you can see, there are a lot of uh, applications. Now, you should understand that you're only going to see task, uh, the task manager or all this stuff here because it's already been opened. So if you have another application, say like Dropbox, Telegram, Discord, stuff like that, you need to open them at least once and let them run in the tray. And then, you know, you can close them if you want, but they need to have been shown up on this, you know, they need to have been run once before so they can show up on this list. But if you want to hide something, you can just click the hidden button here and it will instantly hide everything. And then you just click close. And then if you click this arrow here, you can then reveal what's been hidden. It's really useful. It's one of my favorite XFCE features that not a lot of people talk about. And if you want to change the uh, system tray settings, once again, you go back here and you can just uncheck the ones that you don't want to be hidden anymore and it's that easy. I really love this feature. Uh, just a quick little tip on how to hide stuff in the XFCE system tray. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you want more information on how to do this in, and you know, we go into more depth on even how to remove the system tray from XFCE altogether if you don't like it, please check the description because I go into that in detail in the article that I wrote. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.